Hello everyone, Pyramid Until. Today on this full moon, I'm gonna talk about personal pain. Now, personal pain isn't something that I talk about a lot. I don't really get into pain in general because it seems like such an obvious. Everybody has it. Everyone's uh, fighting a battle and um, especially through the times that we're going through right now, pain is everywhere can't really get away from it so it's just sort of a given in my mind that everyone has pain that they're experiencing pain or they have experienced pain and they're probably going to experience more pain because that's just part of physical reality so I don't really talk about it much I do say that I have uh, plenty of my own pain that's why I do what I do it's a voice of experience I've learned a lot and I'm hoping that I can pass it along and help clarify things for other people and then you have the light rays that are you know walking through a world of pain and they're feeling it and they're seeing it so much more than so many others are so I also pose for them to try to keep their their uh, frequency high you know so that's a struggle that we all go through too but um, when it comes to pain you're not going to escape it um, anyone is walking around acting like you know they don't have any and they never had any and their life is perfect well we all know that that's not true because that's impossible in physical reality but it's really important that, you know, you continue to get up and go on. A lot of times we'll look at people who have been through a certain amount of pain and you just wonder how it is that they keep on going. Um, where do they find the energy? How do people get up when they're lying on the ground? Well, it's a desire. It's a desire to not give up. It's a desire to continue going on. Um, a knowing that you can and that's what's so great about people posting their stories because when you see that other people can do it then you can too anything that anyone else does you know especially that when it only involves um, having the attitude and the desire you can have it as well so that should help give you some energy and then it's also when you don't have any energy it's not about just about your energy one of the things about not having any religion or spirituality or connection with anything greater than yourself is that you do not have access to that energy and we're sort of programmed in this reality that all there is is physical reality that we're not really energetic beings and that's the number one thing I always talk about the true nature of reality and energy and, and you being a scalar wave generator and all of these things because it's this knowledge and information that's going to help you sustain yourself and reach out and pull energy in rather than just you know vibrate at the little teeny tiniest little frequency that you may be in at that exact moment while you're lying on the ground now let me talk about shame I'm looking at the scale of emotional uh, emotional uh, frequencies and the lowest on the scale, I thought it was actually fear, but uh, it looks like it's shame. Now, fear may be the most incapacitating and the most popular one for getting someone to blot out their entire brain. When you're afraid, you know, it's like you stop breathing. Everything stops because you're in a panic mode so you can hyper-focus on whatever is in front of you that's about to kill you or you think is about to kill you. So it's very useful. It is the one most often used when you want to grab somebody and make them stop thinking. But shame is actually probably the most painful one at the lowest frequency. And then I started thinking about all the times in my life when I felt ashamed, when it was intentionally put upon me to feel ashamed, you know? And why, why would anybody want to create that pain in someone, especially in a child? I don't know. I'm not even gonna get into that one. Uh, probably programming. You know, just like everything else that people do, they don't really think about it. They don't really think about what it feels like. If it's useful, if there's a better way, they just follow in their same old traditions. Shame is a wasted emotion. Shame and guilt are kind of the same things, you know? Uh, and I believe that the reason people have fear is actually related to shame, you know? They would do anything to avoid that feeling to have people, you know, projecting that onto them. Though if people can project whatever they want, it doesn't mean that you need to absorb it. I mean, you're the antenna, you know, you, whatever you believe, you pull it in, right? Manifestation and then bam, there you are. You have it, whether it's success or failure or shame and guilt or any of that crap. So what I'm trying to say is this, you're going to have pain. You're going to fall down. You're going to make mistakes. Things aren't going to go the way that you want. Uh, physical reality, you know, you're going to, you're going to rip your skin off. Sometimes stuff happens and you have pain. Don't be afraid of pain. Every time you have pain, it's just a reminder that you're in physical reality, that you're moving, that energy and everything is moving all around you. 
as a child, pain becomes a part of your daily existence. You know that if you run and move around and you're doing this and doing that, you're going to fall down and hurt yourself. So why as an adult would you ever think that, you know, you're going to be able to escape the pain? You don't escape the pain until you leave physical reality, but it's what you do with it. Really and truly it is what you do with it. There's emotional pain, there's physical pain, and you know, that propels people to do their physical therapy, to change their circumstances, to create a safer life, all of that. So that's the purpose of pain. It's a means to an end. It's proof that you're actually in a physical body, in a physical reality. It's not gonna last forever. Try to enjoy it while you're here, and they're just opportunities to make things better. And um, children, you don't have to explain that to them. They already know it. They know if they run out there and run around, they're gonna experience pain, but does it stop them from running around and experiencing the joy? For the average child, no. There may be some that actually will go and lock themselves in a room and become agoraphobic you know, for some reason, but the average well-adjusted child will not do that. They keep, they, they're joyful and pain doesn't stop them for one second. So they always say we need to be more childlike. You know, we've got all these programs that we take on and we lose that joy that no, nothing can damper, no pain, you know, can shut down a child's joy. You know, they're naturally exuberant. That's who you really are. You come in with the, you know, bright light of your spirit directly from God's source, this incredibly bright light and uh, the matrixy bullshit that is, you know, created here by other humans, uh, whether intentionally or unintentionally, um, it, it changes you but remember you're in control of everything and you can change back. I hope this made sense. I'm actually doing lawn maintenance at my house and I felt really compelled to make a video about pain. So hopefully it's gonna help somebody out there. Okay, I love you very much. Happy full moon and have a great day. Bye.